it's Nova and today I'm coming at you guys with a products I regret buying part two so I made a video like this a while back and um, I've been gathering up some products that I regret buying and I finally feel like I have enough to do a video on it so before we get on into the video if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button down below become a member of the beautiful dreamer family um, yeah so without further ado, let's get on into the video. All right, so the first product I regret buying is this Morphe palette. This is the 35N palette, and this was actually my first Morphe palette. Uh, the reason I regret buying it is, there's a couple reasons. One, I rarely use it. Two, it came with this one broken. And as you can see, this one, this shade has started falling apart. It's a palette full of mattes. I just, I don't use it. Um, I was super excited to get my first Morphe palette. And you guys know I love the, the Jaclyn Hill one. But, I don't know, this was disappointing. It's just, uh, I don't use it and it's kind of just in my drawer. So, yeah. On to the next product. Alright, so the next product is also an eyeshadow palette. And it is the Kat Von D in Too Faced collection palette. You know, you guys know that I was super excited when I got this. And you guys saw how happy I was when I unboxed it. Um, I have a video up. I don't know if you want to go check it out. Anyway, it's just after playing with it for a while... It was disappointing. Here, I'll show you each side. So this is the Too Faced side. It comes with six shades, and you can't do a full look with this palette. Like, there's two mattes, and the rest are like shimmery, glittery shades, and they're really weird colors as well. So, I don't know. I don't get much use out of that. Uh, Kat on this side, as you can see, the silver shade broke on me. Um, I don't know how. Again, with, you can't really do a full look with this. I mean, I guess you could, but it's, I don't know, it's just disappointing. Pretty packaging. I think it's cute how it snaps together to make a heart. But, I don't know, I don't use this. It's just in my, the back of my drawer, and it's kind of disappointing. Okay, so the next thing I regret buying is also from Too Faced, and it is from the, like, the Natural Love collection I think they came out with. It is one of those, um, prismatic highlighters. It is in Love Light, and I was super excited when the collection came out. I got the eyeshadow palette. Um, I think one of my friends currently is borrowing it, because I don't get... The eyeshadow palette is pretty, and I definitely got a lot of use out of that. But I wasn't using it too much, so I gave it to her to borrow. Anyway, this was disappointing. Um, I mean, I guess it's like, it's a subtle highlight. But when you just, it's just too subtle for me. I don't know. I just was so disappointed. It's not one that I reach for and definitely not happy that I got it. Alright, so the next three is actually we're getting into drugstore, and I feel like these things are very, like, hit or miss for some people, and they are the Nudes palettes by Maybelline. I have three of them. I have the regular Nudes, the 24K Nudes, and the Blush Nudes. My thing about these palettes is I get the Blush Nudes and I get the regular Nudes, but honestly, the 24K, it doesn't scream like nude to me. I mean, does that look all that natural? Also, the fact that the pigmentation is not that great. And there's just better drugstore palettes out there. Like, the one I have from NYX that I used in my full face using only drugstore is fantastic. I love NYX. They make good stuff. Also, check out e.l.f. Yeah. Anyway, it's just... Then there's also what, like the rock nudes and graffiti nudes that are not nude at all. I don't know, I just, I never use these. I got these when I was beginning in makeup and 
they're just better products out there okay next two things are both by jesse girl and they're both eyeshadow palettes also this is another drugstore thing this is the natural nudes and sons of the city so you have a gray kind of toned one and then a warm nude toned one Again, with I got these when I was beginning in makeup, and I didn't really know there was better stuff out there. Pigmentation is okay. It's not that great. I don't know. These are definitely not that expensive, so if you're starting out, I would say go for these. Also, I don't know. It's just, this doesn't seem like a palette you could really wear on a daily basis. It's basically like grays and grayish browns. It's just... Didn't work for me. So I've got about three things left, and the third to last thing is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer. I like the eyeshadow primer. The face primer, I love Wet n Wild, first of all. The face primer just didn't do a lot for me. Um, I noticed that I put it on and I put my foundation on and I could still see the pores in my nose. Like, you guys don't really see up close on my face, but I have huge pores on the side of my nose that if I wear foundation, you can see, without like a pore filling primer, you can see them. So, it just didn't do, you know, what I thought it was going to do. But, you know, other stuff from Wet Wild is great, so maybe this works for you. I don't Next thing we have is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation. And this is in the color 200. Um, it's just, I'm not a big fan of this. Also because whenever I put this on, maybe it's just this wrong shade probably, but whenever I put this on, it turns very, very orange on me. And, um, I don't know. I guess that's, maybe I just have the wrong shade. But it's not my favorite, like, formula of foundation. It just, yeah, I don't really like it. I regret buying it. Alright, last thing is the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this looks like so... Okay, this is not matte, first of all. This is in the color, what is this? Rebel Red. I, this is, um, where do I go with this? This is not what I like in a red. I love blue reds like I'm wearing today. I don't like orange reds. This is a very orange red. This is not matte. This is very shiny. Um, I've worn this all day once and not once has it dried down matte. Um, yeah, it's just, it feels like almost like a lip gloss. And it's kind of patchy, not that opaque when you put it on. I don't know, I was just disappointed when I got this. And I got this in like two colors. It's nice if you want a shiny lip, or like, you know, kind of glossy lip. But I prefer matte lips, so... Yeah. So this was all the products that I regret buying. Um, I know, obviously, this is what I regret buying, and some of these products may work for you. So, you know, don't take this too much to heart. Because this is just what didn't work for me or my skin. Anyway, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Become a member of the Beautiful Dreamer family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!